Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In this episode, I will show you how to add and customize your text in Wix and also how to add your custom fonts. The first thing we need to do is navigate to the plus button over here and I'm going to click on add. After that, we're going to navigate to text and it doesn't matter, we're going to select any of them. I'm going to select add heading six over here and I'm going to add it into the middle of my page. Now the first thing, let's see and explore first the native customization that we can do to our text. First thing, if you need to change the text, simply double tap on it and you can type in anything. Let's here go and type in something like hello world. On the right side here, you actually have your menu for your text. There's also another way to access it and that's by simply clicking on it and then clicking on edit text. Here you can change the theme of the text that you're trying to write. And here you also have a whole bunch of different fonts that you can select from simply by hovering over them like this and then selecting them. For now, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to select something a little bit funny like this one. And by the end of the tutorial, I'll also show you how you can add your own font. Here you can even customize it further. So for example, I can make this bold. I can make it italic, underlined. You get the whole idea. I can also choose the color of the text. So I can make it blue, red, purple, whatever. I'll leave it as purple for now. And of course, we can also choose the highlighting color. So we can choose anything at the background. Let's just keep it as white for now to avoid being weird. Now over here, I can choose to make the text aligned at the center at the right or at the left or simply like this. If it's a paragraph, you'll be able to see the difference for now. Let's keep it as centered. I can also choose to make it as a bullet point or a numbered point. I'll leave it as default for now. And again, let's change it back to the center. You can choose or increase or decrease the indentation and also to change the text direction from right to left. Again, because it's not a paragraph, you won't be able to tell the difference. Now there's something very important here and that's why we can actually add a link to this. So let's click on link and we can choose web address. Let's just type in any URL here and I will type in my website actually where you can hire me or check out my latest projects. Done. Let's go ahead and click on preview and see if this will work or not. So once I click on preview, if I actually go ahead and click on this, it will take me to that website or that URL that I have clicked. So it acts as if it's a button, but it's actually a text. Let's click back to editor and let's continue customizing it. So I'm going to click on text. I'm going to click on edit text. And now what I can do is you can actually change the font as well, the font size to make it anything you are after. The highest that you can go is 176. As you can see, it's huge. And the lowest is six. Let's keep it as 33 for now. Let's explore this a little bit more here. You have effects, like you can have like some sh fancy shadows. You can have mirroring, you can have doubling. You can also like highlight it from the outside as well. I'm going to choose to not have any effects. You can have character lining, so you can actually choose to separate the letters or the characters by a particular point. You can also have vertical text if you want it. So like this, all of a sudden it became vertical text. Not a fan of it, but it works if you want it. You can also add or customize or fix your SEO of this. We will not be going through this for now. Now, what I want to do, however, is I actually want to customize or add my own font. So how do we do this? We're going to click on text. We're going to click on edit text. We're going to click on fonts. And as you can see here, we have add languages or upload fonts. I'm going to click on upload fonts. I'll click on it. I'm going to click on upload fonts one more time. I'm going to go to my download folder. I'm going to scroll down. As you can see, I have a folder here called Roboto. And here I have all these different types of fonts. I'm just going to select the Roboto bold and I'm going to click on choose for upload. And as you can see, it's uploading, uploading, uploading. And once it finishes uploading, I can actually select it and start using it straight away. So we're just going to give it a second for that. And I'm going to select it. And I'm going to click on done. And now we will actually have it. So I can type in Roboto and it is Rahi Roboto World. Straight away works, straight away is integrated and it works perfectly. Thanks so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it and I hope to see you soon.